Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm a homemaking style channel. I do a little bit of cleaning and organizing, some DIYs and recipes, but mainly here on this channel, my focus is home decor and on a budget. I love thrifting and finding good deals on vintage finds. And if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to join my YouTube community by hitting that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if this is the kind of videos you're into, which we are gonna kind of jump right into today we are going to be doing a Christmas tablescape. So um, the Christmas decor that I have for the tablescape this year is going to be like your dark hunter greens. I have yet to give up the dark hunter green or forest green. I also have some amber vases that I'm going to be using that I got at a flea market last year. And so I'm really excited to share this with y'all. Hopefully you get inspired and just kind of helps give you some ideas on something that you can do, put your own twist on it, of course. Um, but today we're gonna be jumping into that and then also I'm going to show you my entryway table how I decorated that I'll kind of give you a little pan over of the china cabinet if you're new here I actually just moved into this house and so it's been a little exhausting like unpacking and getting ready there's still a couple rooms like our office that I have to unpack some boxes but um, other than that it has been a little exhausting unpacking and then getting ready for Christmas but it's also been fun it's really made it feel a little bit more homey and cozy and familiar just bringing out the old decor I didn't get any new decor this year or anything like that so it's really been nice and just kind of felt familiar to me other than that y'all I'm gonna stop chatting and we're gonna get to decorating oh and how can I forget we are going to make some homemade delicious cookies that my friend slash mentor when I was in high school used to make all the time they were so good she would make so many and yet somehow they would be gone and like two days in our house. Anytime we took it to like a gathering or whatnot, it would always be gone. So it's so delicious. It's called the Triple Chocolate Caramel Cookie. I had to really think about that. It's a long title, but they are so delicious, y'all. But we will get to baking after we decorate. So y'all, let's jump in and start decorating. Um, so this is the decor that we're working with today. So we're gonna be starting out with these wooden Christmas trees. These three sage green ones are like a ceramic, um, but these are all from Target Dollar Sprout last year. I can't remember if they had them this year. You can always look online as well, but I'm gonna be using those. And I have some berry stems that I'm gonna be using. So I have three different styles of candelabras. I have the golden ones, the black ones. I think these are from Hobby Lobby, except for these. I think I got these at like a garage sale or a garage sale, or it was at like a flea market or something um, that I got these. But the rest I think were from Hobby Lobby or Target. One of those two, y'all. I'm so sorry. I can't remember. Um, like I said, I'm not new. Um, all of this is from past years. Um, these nutcrackers are from Hobby Lobby last year, so I bet they still have them this year. I'm also going to be using this faux greenery that I got at a local boutique a few years ago, actually. And then these amber vases, this was at a local boutique, or I'm sorry, um, flea market. And then these two were from, these two amber vases were from Target last year, the Hearth and Hand line. And then this is going to be my table runner. I got it at Pier 1 uh, several years ago. Honestly, y'all, I don't even know if Pier 1 is still open. I think they closed the stores. I don't know, you might look online to check that out. But I've actually seen these at Hobby Lobby and Walmart almost exactly the same so you might want to check those stores as well if you're looking if you're looking for something similar and more neutral so that's going to be what i'm going to be using for the table runner and yeah this is what we're working with oh and you know you can't forget the twinkle lights y'all it is christmas but all right y'all i'm going to take these pieces and we are going to create something with it so let's get started before I get started, I'm just gonna use my Method Daily Wood Cleaner. It's in the scent almond, and I'm just going to wipe it down the table really quick before I get started. On this cold December day, we are on our The snow bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling. Rudolph knows where to go on this cold December day. I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run. Is so I have my candles kind of lined up behind me on my china cabinet, which I'll show you all here in a second. Um, give you a little peek inside, but. Um, that way I can just easily take them 
and bring them over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of stack them zigzag down this runner and garland just to where it looks good. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a rhyme or reason, but I want them to be mixed matched as well. So I have, you know, three different styles, two different colors, the gold and black. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of play around with this and see what looks good. Okay, so I'll come back. Some of these are leaning. I'll come back and put a little tissue under them and then put them in so that way they're not like sliding over. So you'll have to excuse that for now. I just wanna kind of get the placement done first. All right, let's move over to this side. Get the camera all situated. So basically, I'm just going to take what I did over here, mimic it on this side to the best that I can. If I need to switch some things around, that's fine. Um, there's a little bit of order, but if it gets a little mix matchy, I don't mind it. So um, we're just gonna get started doing that. <laughs> See how these are just kind of like, doop. I'm gonna have to get some tissue paper to fix that, but I just wanna get my place placement really quick. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to switch these and have this gold and green closer to this side. And then I have the white candle and the gold more towards the vases. Time to add in the little nutcrackers. And then the second one, I'm just going to place in the back, kind of catty cornered, just because with this tablescape, so it used to be it was the width was to the back of the wall. Now it's on either end as you walk in and you really see everything on both sides. So I have to be um, careful with this room to make sure that both sides are kind of equally played out and you know, looking well and coordinated. Now I'm going to take my little basket or wooden box full of Christmas trees. I'm gonna place them down the table runner throughout the garland. So let's go ahead and get these going down the table. All right, so we're gonna move on this side. All right, now I'm gonna take these berry stems that I have and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them throughout the garland and table runner um, just to kind of fill in any voids that I see. Um, as you can see in the front, there's not really too many voids, but here in the back, I do have a void where you really don't have the garland meeting with anything other than that stem. So I'm gonna kind of just tuck in a few of these. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in just so that it's, you know, it's still really pretty when you're sitting and looking on this side of the table. And then I have two left, so I'm just gonna kinda stick one over here and then one over on this side. Just to give it a little pop of color. I might add some more, but for now, this will work. All right, y'all, so last but not least, the twinkle lights. And um, once again, I did get these at Target last year. They still have them this year. They're $5, it's either Wonder Shop or Wonderland brand, but they're from Target. So, um, and it does have a little timer on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave this down at the tablescape. All right, y'all, that is it. Let me get you a little bit of an overview.
All right, y'all, now for the full overview of the dining room. I'm gonna show you the china cabinet and then the entryway behind me like I had kind of promised. But um, all I did was just hang more of these wreaths like I have in the kitchen. If you saw my last video, my clean and decorate with me part one, um, I had these in the kitchen. And so I just have it tied with ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's just a velvet hunter green and then some wreaths that I got at a local boutique. So I just kind of hung those over the door. And I do need to hang my curtains in here. I feel like it would really warm it up, um, except for the life of me, I cannot figure out where the box is that I put these curtains in, which is funny because it was one of the last things that I packed and personally brought over here. So I cannot find those. Also, I kind of tuck these little gnomes on top of the like plant boxes and let me kind of zoom in here. They're just too cute. So um, I was excited to be able to get these out this year and get them set up. And then I didn't do too much over here. I just placed these books that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're the books that you can open up and put things in. And then I have my little nutcracker coffee cups that um, they come apart. So it's three little coffee cups that you can stack up and it turns into a nutcracker. So I have that down there. So I didn't do too much, but a little something to get a little pop of color. And right here behind the dining room area, there's a little hallway before you reach the entryway door. So I basically just wanted there to be a lot of color. I wanted it to be packed full of books. Um, that was kind of my vision over here. So I had a lot of fun just kind of pulling all of my books together over on this one table. All these books come from the thrift store. Um, like all of these are from the thrift store. These are from eBay. And I also got some at a little boutique. These are some that my grandma gave me a long time ago. So. A few of them are brand new, like these four are brand new books that I've gotten online. Tucked a little flanneled pillow in the basket, added some greenery and pine cones. Just wanted it to feel really warm over here. I have the wreath on the mirror. So I'm really happy with this side. I really enjoyed styling this. So I'll give you a little close up and then we will get to baking. Oh, you're far away. We're under the same stars. Oh. So let's get to baking. This is my favorite part. I love, I actually really love baking and I love baking from scratch as well. And so I'm really excited to get to baking. We are going to be making a triple chocolate caramel cookies. They are so delicious. My mentor slash friend in high school actually shared this recipe with me. Um, gosh, that would have been 14, 15, 16 years ago. Also, I just realized I'm in different clothes because I was going to bake last night and my husband came home, we got to talking and we watched movies. And so I did not bake last night. I'm actually filming this on a Saturday. We went to a powwow, my father-in-law, he was dancing. And so we went and watched him and we also watched the grand entry. We did a little shopping at the vendors as well. And I have to show you these hand painted Christmas ornaments 
that we got at the powwow. So um, I'm gonna show you those real quick and then we'll get to baking because these are just so beautiful. These are hand painted, y'all. So I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so I picked this one out. Let me just get you a close up here. And then we got this in memory of Mike's granddad. Hey honey, what was his, um, what was your granddad's name? And then Mike got this one because it was the closest we could find. His name is Ketawakshe, which means black fox. And in ca on this camera, you can tell it's brown, but in person it looks like it's a black fox. So we're just gonna go with that. All right, y'all. That's my little show and tell for the for the video. Before we get started baking, I wanted to show you all this. Um, if you go to potawatomigifts.com, which I'll link in the description box below, this is not sponsored. This is actually just kind of spur of the moment, but I figured since I was sharing with you guys some things that we got from uh, the vendor at the powwow today, that was Choctaw, but my, my husband is Potawatomi, and they have at potawatomigifts.com um, a whole shop where you can go on there and you can get beautiful jewelry, you can get t-shirts, Christmas ornaments, blankets, um, hats, socks, let's see here. You just click on menu, shop, and you can go click on jewelry, apparel, art and decor. Ooh, look at this, this is so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. And um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for gift ideas, this is not sponsored. I'm just kind of sharing this in case you liked like those ornaments. I don't know if they have any on here on this website um, at the Potawatomi Gifts, but yeah, you can just kind of scroll through and shop around. Oh, they do have ornaments, assorted ornaments. And so anyway, if y'all want to check this out, like I said, not sponsored at all. But if y'all wanna go check this out, and I will link all of this in the description box below. All right, y'all, so here we have all of the ingredients which call for one and a half cups of butter softened, and then one cup of sugar that I have right here, uh, one egg, three cups of all-purpose flour, a half cup of baking cocoa, one 12 ounce package of miniature semi-sweet chocolate chips, one cup chopped pecans. It also calls for one bottle of caramel ice cream topping. And then it also calls for four to six ounces of dark chocolate candy coating melted. But I'm actually just gonna use chocolate chips. I'm gonna put like a fourth or half teaspoon of vegetable oil, or I like to use coconut oil, mix it up real good, and then kind of melt it on and off for 15 seconds. And so that's what I'm gonna do for that part, but we'll get to that part here in a second. I just kind of wanted to share with you the ingredients. So let's put all this together and make some delicious cookies. Okay, so I just preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of butter, and then one cup of sugar, now we're just gonna cream the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Then you'll add in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix those in well. And then we're gonna gradually add in the three cups of all-purpose flour and the half cup of baking cocoa. I just kind of sift in a little bit of the flour and a little bit of the cocoa, mix it in well, and then I repeat that a few times until all the flour and cocoa is gone. And I also randomly kind of scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl to make sure that all the ingredients really get mixed in well. And some more flour and cocoa powder. Slowly stir it, at least in the beginning. I'm just gonna mix in the 12 ounce package of miniature semi-sweet chocolate chips and the one cup chopped pecans and then mix that well. Once 
Once that's complete, I'm just gonna spray some oil on my baking sheet and then roll the dough into one inch balls and place them onto the baking sheet. Now you're just gonna take a wooden spoon handle or just any handle with a circular bottom and make about a 3 8 to half inch deep indentation that we're going to fill with the caramel topping here in a minute. Also a little tip, I like to grease the bottom of the wooden spoon is it just kind of helps it not to stick to the cookie dough. Now I'm just gonna fill in the voids with the caramel. Now you're gonna pop the cookies in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 to 18 minutes, depending on your oven. Mine cooked it perfectly in about 14 minutes. You just wanna look for the caramel to be bubbling and then you know it's time to take it out. You're gonna set it aside to cool and while it's cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit more of the caramel on top just to fill it up where it melted into the cookie. It looks nicer and most importantly, it tastes yummier with a little bit of extra caramel. Once your cookies are cooled, you're gonna grab a bowl. I just use a paper bowl to make it for easier cleanup. And you're going to add about 1 4 cup to half a cup of chocolate chips, and then add about 1 4 teaspoon to half a teaspoon of vegetable oil of your choice. I used coconut oil. And they're just gonna mix it in to where the oil has covered every chocolate chip and they all look nice and shiny. And then you'll pop it into the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds, taking it out about every 10 to 15 seconds to stir it until it's melted. Just make sure not to heat it up for too long or it'll actually harden the chocolate. Once it's melted, I do a little practice drizzle in the bowl and then I drizzle the melted chocolate onto the top of the cookies and then let the chocolate that you just drizzled cool and then y'all, they are ready to eat and I promise you these are so delicious and I really hope you enjoy this recipe. All right, y'all, so that is all for today's video. I'm just gonna hang up our new ornaments that we got and call it a day. So I hope everyone enjoys the holidays with their family. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe if you like these types of videos. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It is the greatest Christmas gift you could give me. It really helps my channel out so much when y'all do that. So thank y'all for watching and I will see you next time. Merry Christmas.